across Texas, the woman who opened fire at Lakewood Church in Houston has a criminal history and documented struggles with mental illness, according to investigators. And now it's raising questions of how she was able to purchase that firearm in the first place. Our Monica Madden has more on the gun laws here in the Lone Star State. The 36 year old Lakewood shooter had previous arrests for charges, including unlawful possession of a weapon and assault on a public servant. She was also put under an emergency detention order for mental illness in 2016. Houston police believe she purchased the firearm legally. We're still con conducting the, the trace on that. Federal law requires citizens to fill out this firearms transaction form when purchasing a gun from a licensed dealer. It asks questions like if you've been convicted for certain misdemeanors or if you're under felony indictment and without clear certainty about how the shooter got her firearm it's unclear if she had to fill out a form like this and if she would have been flagged or in the states that do have them it tends to be spotty to get a better understanding of how red flag laws are supposed to work i spoke with dr jeffrey swanson a sociologist who researches gun laws at duke university it's a civil restraining order that's not criminalizing that allows police officers with due process with a court order to temporarily remove someone's firearms and deny them access to firearms if they pose a an imminent risk of harming uh, someone else or themselves. In a study of six states with red flag laws, Swanson examined petitions for risk protection orders. 10% of those cases, it was a threat of a mass casualty shooting. And the judge said, yes, we need to intervene, remove that individual's firearms. Opponents argue these laws amount to taking gun rights away from people who haven't been found guilty of a crime. Experts like Swanson say a red flag law will not stop all bad actors. It's a piece in the puzzle of gun violence prevention. It would work better if we had universal background checks. It would work better if we could do something about these very robust illegal gun market. Community leaders asking Texans to work together to prevent another Lakewood. Neighbors, family members, getting that information up uh, to us in a timely manner where we can be proactive in preventing.